Hey, let's talk about Wednesday hump day shenanigans. Starting off with home gym. Hmm. Traffic. Hey, so what we got going on for home gym is we have seven rounds for time. So every three minutes. So that means built in rest. Uh, whatever you finish before the end of three minutes, you're resting. Um, 12 alternating dumbbell power snatches. Six burpee over dumbbell. 12 dumbbell step back lunges. And then six burpee over dumbbell. So you want to be sure that you scale that back to something that you can finish under three minutes with enough rest so that you can go hard each of those seven rounds. So obviously as you get deeper into it, um, you're going to get a little bit more fatigued. All right, so let's talk about individual scales, um, alternating dumbbell power snatches, scale that weight, um, six burpees over the dumbbell. It can be standard burpees. Um, 12 uh, dumbbell step back lunges. You can do a decreased range of motion, so maybe like a half lunge, um, or you can turn those into a goblet squat. Unilateral lunging is no go. And then you're gonna finish up with another burpees um, instead of uh, dumbbell uh, burpees over dumbbell. Okay, uh, let's. Uh, we're gonna come back to the finisher. So let's talk about body weight. We're gonna be doing the same rep scheme of seven rounds, three minute segments. We're gonna use 12 odd object ground to overheads, six burpee over that odd object, uh, and then 12 reverse lunges with that object, and then again, some burpees. Same scales apply. You can omit the uh, object. You can make that object lighter. Um, uh, decrease the range of motion on the lunges or turn them into squats those should be awesome have fun with that let's talk about a finisher so the home gym finisher um, we are gonna do three rounds with a minute rest in between each round of 30 seconds max dumbbell row that's gonna be five each side so that's with a single dumbbell if you have two dumbbells go ahead and knock yourself out with that well, I mean, don't knock yourself out, but, you know, go ahead and use two. Um, 30, um, 30 seconds of max uh, clap push-up. So standard toe push-up, and you're just going to do a clapping push-up. You know, push yourself off the ground and clap, come back to the ground. Then we're going to do 30 seconds of max suitcase deadlift. So you're going to hold that dumbbell on one side, so five each side trying to keep that torso nice and straight. Don't sacrifice that lumbar curve. Use those hamstrings, bend in the knee, just like you would a normal deadlift. Uh, and then 30 seconds of max push-ups. Um, so for the body weight or the no weight version, you are going to do, instead of clapping push-ups, just a regular push-up. On the first go, 30 seconds, and then on the second 30 seconds, let's do a knee push-up. If you don't have a dumbbell for that body weight, I and mean, most of us do, just find some type of weight, something to hold, okay? Make that work. All right, hit me up with any questions on those. Let's talk about uh, the Firebird. Um, we are, if you have a barbell, you're gonna do Every two minutes for five rounds, you are going to um, perform um, round one, five reps at 50 to 60% of your one rep max. And then each round, you're going to go up a 10% um, percentage. So first round, 50, 60, second round, 60, 70, and so on. You'll see it when it publishes tonight. Reps are decreasing. So round one, five reps, round two, five reps, round three, three reps. And then round four, two reps. And then round five, two reps. Okay, and scale the weight as needed. Um, listen to your body. And just because you did a weight last time doesn't mean that this time you should do that same weight. Um, let's talk about the partially loaded version. This is going to be with a set of dumbbells or a set or one dumbbell where you are going to do dumbbell deadlifts or a suitcase deadlift if you only have one dumbbell and you're just going to go until you can't complete the set unbroken and when i say unbroken that's constant motion 
All right, let's talk about the finisher for both of them. For RX Plus, you're gonna do 60 pull-ups. Every time you drop, you're gonna perform 10 weighted sit-ups. Be a dumbbell, it could be anything. Um, scale it to no weight. And then for RX, 40 devil's presses. RX. And then every time you rest, you're gonna perform 10 weighted sit-ups. All right. So have fun with those, scale where needed, hit me up with any questions, you got my cell phone, give me an email, give me a smoke signal, carrier pigeon, I take it all. Alright, under six minutes, out.